Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options, then we need to select troubleshoot, then select advanced options and then click on command prompt. Type chkdsk slash f slash r c colon and hit enter to execute the command. Now wait for some time to complete the process. Once done, move to the next step. Now type c colon and hit enter. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute the command. Type cd space windows and simply hit enter to execute the command. Type cd space system32 and simply hit enter. Now type cd space config and hit enter. Now execute this command. Type md space backup and simply hit enter. Now execute this command. Type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter. Now type md space backup one and simply hit enter. Now type copy star dot star backup one and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now type cd reach back and hit enter. Then type dir and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter. Then type all and hit enter. Now execute this command. Type bootrec space slash fix mbr and simply hit enter. Now type in bootrec space slash fix boot and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now execute this command cd space c colon slash. Now execute this command type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback then simply hit enter to execute this command. Now type this command bcd edit space slash exports space c colon slash bcd backup then hit enter. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type this command md space boot and simply hit enter. Type cd space boot and hit enter. Now type md space bcd and hit enter. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter. Type in ren c colon backslash boot backslash bcd bcd dot old and simply hit enter to execute this command. Now type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and simply hit enter. Type exit and simply hit enter. Now click on continue. It will restart your system. So that's it guys. Your problem is solved and you are good to go.